everybody. This is an invitation to all my mirrors. Come on, I'm ready for all my trolls. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. Come on, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's, 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 let's battle it out for whatever reason. And because, you know, you know dang well that, you know, an angry Bravo, an angry Bravo is unstoppable. Let's go. What the fuck did I do to you people? What did I do to make God the good criminal? I know where you are. Well, Corky, I know you want to blame the trolls for you being a criminal, but you're a criminal because you're a criminal. Because you committed real estate fraud and got caught. That's why you're a criminal. Are you that stupid? I mean, Bruce wants to fucking do something. I mean... I mean, it's bad enough that he's contacted your mother and he contacts Halloween all the time. He's fucking stalking us constantly. Uh, you know, Bruce, like I, Bruce, I am not afraid to go back to prison. I'll just tell you that right now, Bruce. <laughs> You're not afraid to go back to prison, but last time you went to prison, you pissed yourself. That's how afraid you were. Don't fucking try to pull the wool over anybody's eyes. You're afraid to go back to prison, or you'd go back to California and face your your punishment um, because you have a a bench warrant, criminal boy. Dear Tim, last Sunday night the deputies woke me up around midnight to send me to prison. Despite the fact that they told me on Friday night that I had no Oob State status. <clears throat> they put me in a big cell with a bunch of gangbangers from general population. I didn't know what was going on and I started panicking. I told them I was suicidal so I wouldn't have to go. No one was explaining anything to me and even the psych they had working there told me he didn't care about my fears about prison and said the judge can't be questioned. I said <laughs> the judge may have power over me but has no authority over me. <laughs> <laughs> well, evidently, the judge did have authority over you because he had enough authority to put you in prison. Dumbass. At that point, he looked at me like I was insane and had the deputy take me to the suicide floor where I was unceremoniously stripped and tossed into a cell by myself for the next 14 hours. While being escorted to the suicide floor, I pissed myself. <laughs> You pissed yourself, huh? <laughs> was that your tactic not to get raped or something? <laughs> Didn't work. It was cuffed so tightly that I, even now as I write this, do not have all the feeling in my hands back yet. I have full range of motion, so it's nothing permanently, hopefully. Uh, no, I did not uh, pee in my, I did not pee myself when I went to prison. No, I did not. Um... That's a lie. While being escorted to the suicide floor, I pissed myself. <laughs> Poor Corky was so scared, he pissed himself while on his way to the suicide floor. Dude, you are the biggest pussy ever. You were a bunch of gangbangers. What you really mean is there were minorities, Mexicans and black people in there. Oh my God. What do you expect when you go to prison? Maybe you should have saw that before you committed real estate fraud, huh, Corky? And you're not afraid. Well, Cor oh, Bruce come out there. You'd piss yourself again. Bruce is a big boy. He's not too bright, but I'm sure he would mop the floor with you. And I'm not saying this to support Bruce. I don't know what went on with Bruce, okay? Uh, I wasn't there. I don't. Ha I haven't seen any evidence of anything, so I'm not going to damn Bruce, and I'm not going to uh, give him a pass either, because I don't know. Bruce is irrelevant to me. But you're not going to do anything to Bruce. You want to talk about Bruce, because he's down in Florida, and you're in Nebraska, that's the only reason. Not because you're not afraid to go to prison, because you definitely are. If you pissed yourself when you went to prison, 
I know anybody would be scared going to prison, but um, not to the point of pissing themselves. I mean, that's that's fucking. That means you're the biggest coward of all. I mean, you pissed all over yourself. That's funny as hell. They threw me in prison on falsified charges for a crime that I did not commit. They did that to me in 2014. How can you go into prison guilty and come out of prison innocent? That's why you haven't learned your lesson. About stealing the house. Fuck that. It was a dead person's house. It was laying out there in the middle of the goddamn fucking nowhere. The house was a kill. I hunted it. I caught it. I did what I wanted with it. See, what really gets me the most about Corky is he goes around calling people criminals. He calls Blue a criminal. Blue's not a felon. He's called, I don't know if you ever called me one, but he, he calls all those trolls and Slummy Nugget and Pearl Eaton and Hung Lin, I think they're the same person. Um, Happy Jesus, one, two, three. Um, many people, he calls them criminal. They're criminally minded. But who's a criminal mind? If you really study Nick and listen to his videos, he's got a criminal mind. See, Nick whines that he's not successful in life, that he's just you know, he's a failure. He doesn't admit to being a failure, but he knows he's a failure. And he want, doesn't think it's fair because he should have what everybody else has. He should have a house by now. He should have a career where he doesn't have to do any work but get paid for kind of career. You know, he thinks he deserves all. All this is owed to him. Well, that's how criminals think. Criminals think they should get things without working for them. See, Nick would never become an actor because you have to work very hard at be being an actor. He doesn't want to do the work hard part. He just wants to, you know, get all the glory from being an actor, I guess. Um, but Corky has a criminal mind. He wants the easy way out. That's what criminals always want. He lies. He's con constantly concealing the truth. That's another aspect of a criminal mind. Um, now, Corky's a pussy criminal because he peed his pants. Uh, you know, he was where he's supposed to be. He got out easy. He only got a year of a, he had about a two year sentence or something, which was a light sentence. The judge was easy on him. Judge gave him the least he could give him. And then the prisons let him out early because he was such a pussy and crying and whining the whole time, never growing up, never becoming an adult. And they just said, let's just get this guy out of here. We don't need this big pussy and have to babysit this guy 24-7. Let's just get him out of here. That's what the prisons did. It wasn't for good behavior. It wasn't for anything else other than the fact that Nick was a big baby pussy. And that's all he is. I'm not being mean. I'm telling the truth. And the truth is evidence. He pissed himself. Now, I've, I'm uh, 60, over 60 years old. And in all my life, I've been in scary situations. I was in the military, and they made me rappel off of a cliff that was probably four or five story. Well, maybe more than that. It was in Okinawa, a big old huge cliff. And I had to rappel down there with and tie my own harness. I didn't get one of those fancy harnesses, you know, the rock climbers get. I got a piece of rope, and I had to tie that rope so it, so it would be secure to the other rope that I was sliding down. And I wasn't confident in my knots. <laughs> but I made it down there. Once I got to the bottom, halfway, once I went over the edge, see, you're walking back and, you know, eventually you're going to have to step off that edge. Once I went off the edge, it was fun from then down. It was just making that, that leap into, you know, the fear. But I didn't pee myself. I've never peed myself. Well, one time when I was drunk, I was 18 years old, and I was at a urinal, and I was in the National Guard, and we were all, I was drunk off my ass. It was at a Christmas party, and I didn't unzip my pants. And I just stood there in front of the urinals and peed, and I was like, oh, shit, my legs are getting all wet, because I didn't pull it out or pull it out of my pants. That's the only time I ever pissed myself. But... Corky pissed himself out of fear. I don't know anybody's ever done that personally. I don't know if any women ever have done that. 
I mean, scary situations, but still, you know. I've driven on icy roads with the 18 wheeler, and that was, um, I was sucking the damn seat up my butt crack. I was clenching my butt so tight going down that road. But um, I didn't piss myself. Corky, you're so afraid of prison, you pissed yourself. So don't tell Bruce that you're not afraid to go back to prison, because we all know you fucking would be. In Nebraska prison, it would be a lot tougher than California prison. California prison's run by, you know, liberal, bleeding heart liberals. California staunch conservatives, they believe in punishing the fuck out of you criminals. So, Corky, <laughs> you're just a fucking liar. We all know it. You suck! Yes.